Americans, bruv. You Only. say give at least one. I give one, you say give at least two. What more do you want? I didn't what say give want? at least one. You just didn't stop talking. I stopped talking for a long time. <laughs> Here's a rest, yeah? Give it one, bruv. Wait, Sam. <laughs> do we think that Stephen Hawking... Do you think he's innocent? No, <laughs> wow, no, Massam, you're no, crazy, no. No, bro. No, 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 no. It's the absurdity of it. It's not just a normal yeah. person being nonce. Wait, he's not normal? One of the best physicists of all time. That's not normal. Oh, yeah. And he's in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. There we go. What's going on, people? Welcome back to Atypical. Another day, another episode. Back with all of the mandem for once. Thank us in the comments down below. And while you're doing that, like and subscribe as well. Hit the notification bell, you know, so that we you you know when there's a new video and we know that you love us. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, before we get into it, lads, you know how I like to intro. I haven't I haven't I haven't chatted to you in a while because the last time I recorded was like a month ago. So how you all doing? What's new? Chat to me. Uh, last time Jay Jay went first, so my son, how you doing, bro? What's new? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Literally nothing. I'm gonna hand the baton to Jay, bro. The baton. Hey. Uh, the baton. Mass, mass yeah. the baton like you say, more, yeah, bro. bro. <laughs> Listen, none of us have done anything. It's, it's yeah, a boring bro, week. You... It's a boring. Yeah, week. Actually, boring week. I bought a PS5. Oh, did you actually? Oh, yeah. Wow. Nah, just the controller. Just the handle. controller. The He's got the control. Wait, I just what? bought the controller for memes. Yeah. Why? No, I bought the PS5. I bought the PS5. Okay, all right. I was a bit confused, <laughs> but I was like, it's in your character, so I was like, well, yeah. <laughs> that's a defamation of my character. We don't want to go into that today. Like. <laughs> Cross examination. Still my line. Bro. Cross examination. <laughs> still my line. The cheek of that. Line. <laughs> but nah. Oh, really? um, oh, mad. Nothing new then. Nothing new at all. I know you guys went to watch a, a certain. I, I mean, it's not in the list. You saw a movie last it's, yesterday. Yeah, to be fair. Yeah, we watched me, Massam, a few others went to go watch. Um, I shall shout out Shaji. And I'm oh. not going to shout out the rest because they don't watch. So I just shout out Shaji and the rest of them can do one, innit? Uh, but we watched The Boy in the Heron. Wait, what about, what about the other one? Nah, he don't really watch. He's yeah, a bit I was gonna say. He's a bit. What's of a fraud. You crystal, bro? <laughs> nah, he's a fraud. He's a fraud. He's a fraud. Ooh. Last episode, he watched probably episode twenty. Yeah, true. Actually, before <laughs> oh, we talk fair. about before we talk about the boy in the heron, I want to talk about Hodge's PS Five, bro. That's the, that's be the fair, big headline. He's only like oh, what four, really, years really. four years late. Four years late. Four years late. Mocking it. What did you get? Did what did you get up? with it? A, a while ago, brother. I think COVID time. <laughs> yeah. Same month. Might be twenty. Might be 2020. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, I just want. What, what did you get? What did you? Get I got, I got Ragnarok with it. Um, but I've got a PS Extra in it, so I got Ghost of Tsushima. I want to play a lot of story games. I'm on a Tsushima is great, again. by the way, phenomenal. Yeah, no, it seems amazing. I saw a couple of videos. Uh, I got Ratchet and Clank: Rift Apart. I've been playing that. I've been banging that out already. Twenty five percent free. Nice. It's fucking fun. That's, that's a fire game unfortunately so there was uh you know when the insomniac leaks when like wolverine got leaked and all these other stuff right yeah rift apart didn't do that well which oh wow of, which which kind of sucks it, it made profit barely yeah. apparently the revenue was not good at all which is why insomniac can now become the de facto like marvel guys which is wow. why they're doing spider-man they chucked into x-men playstation are like yeah. nah you're staying in this realm which sucks because i'm a massive ratchet fan yeah and rift Apart yeah is awesome. it's amazing ratchet's yeah. good yeah it threw, it threw yeah. me back to like, I borrowed, shout out Usman. Uh, he gave me Tools of Destruction <laughs> back in the day, like yeah. years ago. And I played that yeah. and I was like, oh, I'm back, I'm back. I yeah, fucking yeah. loved it. But I'm a bit behind every, on the story. Bro, bro, I, borrowed, I borrowed every single Ratchet and Clank from Usman. It's, so it's funny, yeah, Usman yeah, borrowed one of them single... from my brother. That's funny. That's jokes. Rift Apart's awesome. And also that's a great, like... That's a great first game because you can really see like how powerful PS5 is with all the yeah. the, the the shifts. Astro's yeah. playroom, brother. Oh, Astro's bro, I was bagging straight. it out. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Me and my parents were bagging it out on the first day. It was so fun, bro. I gave them that's the controller. Amazing. I was like, hold hey, yo, that's a mad statement, bro. <laughs> what? Hey, Oh, like, bro, your brain is on the gutter, bro. No, Jay started laughing. I was, started laughing, I was not laughing at that. <laughs> oh, I caught you in 4K the moment he oh, said that. Don't try lost. it, Jay. I was what? laughing because he was playing PlayStation Crazy. with his parents. Yeah. Not for what he said. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. What's wrong with that, Jay? Gaslighters. Gaslighters. What was your favorite your island? What's your favorite like island? Like I, from what I remember, there's the ice one, the jungle one. Oh, like the futuristic one. Yeah, yeah. Right now, I'm at. Uh, he went. She went to uh, uh, Rivet and Clank went to the the island where you can do like mini games and you can oh, you're cool. going to like a Colosseum thing. That's pretty. Sad. That's I'm really there right cool. now, cool. but um, 
the 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 one with the Gruntor, the the prehistoric yeah. things, fucking fun, bro. So yeah, yeah, fun. It's good. It's, it's hilarious. Good. I just finished that mission with the the dragon flying around getting mm-hmm. all the the, yeah. the purple things. But yeah, that was really so cool. Fun. Yeah, yeah. Got a couple That's other a games. Game. I got Warzone. I got Modern Warfare Three, like a neek, like a cod neek that I am. Oh, so lot. It's it's ass, bro. I'll be real. It's Sell not, it, bro. It's, make some money. Or is it digital? <sighs> It's, uh, it's digital CD keys. Yeah, like did you it. get a digital ver- version of it? Like, yeah. You digital, did really? Yeah. yeah. How comes? Because I was at the end of the day, I was like, everything's moving to digital. And then also, I haven't got that many discs in the first place. I don't buy this anyway. All my games are digital as it is. And it's cheaper. Yeah. So I was like, fuck it, I'll take it. I've got so many discs, bro. I'm telling you, all of that is full of flipping discs. Like, yeah, I you're a disc my boy. Draw. You're a disc yeah. boy. You're, you've been I'm a disc boy. Di- I'm, a, I'm a disc boy. Say that really quickly, bro. Dick boy. <laughs> that wasn't quickly. <laughs> that was just wrong. That's cool. Yeah. Have you you've watched the playthrough of, of God of War though, in it? Yeah, yeah. Of one. So they're not really. A, yeah. But the thing is, the only way I could get so <laughs> bear in mind, I was up late one night and I was like, "How do I get the PS5?" Because I'm I've, I've decided I want the PS5 now. How do I get it? I went on their website. It was out of stock. Uh, I went on uh, on sorry no. I, I went on PlayStation and they had the slim one. And I was going to get it, but I forgot my PSN login. So I was like, this is long. I see me to even try at the moment. Um, then I went to game and the only one they had that was half decently priced was like 399 or something was the one with Ragnarok. And I was like, 10 quid extra for Ragnarok as well. It's there. I might as well play if I want to. So I just copped it. But at least I couldn't find yeah. it anywhere else. That's good. Yeah. That's a good, that's a good, good bundle to be fair. Fair we don't, enough. we don't, we don't tolerate uh, PS5 Slims around here, in it, Amza. Yeah, we don't tolerate. Them. It's crazy because one person in a, in a typical reaction actually doesn't have a PlayStation Five. Yeah, that's idea. what I was gonna say. The three out of the four have a P- PS5. That's I have one. Crazy. Nah, you your brother has one, doesn't he? Your brother has one. Yeah, I've got one right <laughs> next to me now. Oh, you got one. I thought Jay when had. Did you one? get your own one. A what? Did you get that? Like, oh, okay. Is it Slim? Man's is moving. Slim? Silence. Yeah, it's slim. I don't need yeah, to announce what I'm doing, silence. especially the you, man. It's not like, Dude, you know, he doesn't ask... come on and play with us, yeah. so we'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I want to do know. that? That's outrageous. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, that's good, Hoshi, because I am a disc boy. But to be fair, the extra is so awesome. PS5, the, the whole plus extra, oh, yeah, all yeah. those extra and premium so are really great. I cancelled mine, though, because I legitimately have played most of them. So it's like I've played practically every major PS5 Plus game for the last like five, six months, yeah. which is the annoying thing. So, but it is great, like value for money. So Yeah, right. I've, I've not played that many yeah. games at all. So I'd Shout out. Shout but out yeah. to the Game Boys. But yeah, we watched um, The Boy and the Heron uh, yesterday, which was the 12th. Those out there who want to know our calendar, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know uh, it was Studio Ghibli. Shout out, uh, and Hi Miyazaki. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying it the proper way, bro. You're That's my only guy that I'm watching the Japan world, bro. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to get sponsorships, I'm trying to create good relationships with corporate clients, isn't it? Harshi, do you mind? Don't know, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, on. but yeah, so many of you might have seen other movies, but like How's Moving Castle, Spirited Away, Kiki's Delivery Service. You might have heard of some of those some of those movies but yeah it was amazing it was amazing it was first time watching it in cinema mm. i think my son's obviously watched some i think you mentioned like a long time ago in cinema yeah. right yeah, yeah i watched literally hell's moving course like 20 years ago so when i saw that yeah, i'm like mad. that makes me feel flipping old <laughs> and uh i will say this movie was really good i would say it's not the upper ranks i wouldn't put it on the like spirit to way hell's level but the thing is this movie is really interesting because is a proper swan song to like Miyazaki himself for obviously people don't know this was supposed to be Miyazaki's last film he's cat he's felt like one. it felt like it because and and what's really interesting is because I've been on like a uh I've told you guys anyway like a drop my phone uh Ghibli Ghibli however you want to flipping say bro gif gif whatever um <laughs> like marathon from like the very beginning yeah, well, from the very beginning, right? Because I've like systematically want to go through every one in order, including really watch the ones I haven't done. And it's crazy that this movie has so many like homages to all his previous work. It's really crazy, like how many references within it. And the thing with with the the Ghibli movies, and we watched it with Charji. We can shout him out because he listens. Yeah, yeah, not the other, not and, the other guys. Yeah, not the other guys. And he doesn't watch subs, right? And he's never watched one. And he liked it, but he found it confusing. And like the best way I can explain uh, Ghibli movies is they are like 
super multifaceted and super multi-layered, right? And it's really like, how do you want to interpret? So this movie, without spoiling in essence, is he goes into a magical world to get something. Well, I'd say what, because it ruins the plot, right? So you can take it, like a child can watch this movie and take it from that A plot. But then there's so many different layers in this movie and so many stuff that me and Hamza were talking about this. And it's like, it's a it's a kid's movie, but for all intents and purposes, not. Because there's a lot a can lot I, have ever can been I just a kids say, movie, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's, can I just say, can you sell it medium. as much as you can? Because I'm trying to get my girl yeah. into it. And she's like, why are you making me watch this children's shit? And I was no, like, geez, shut it's up. Not, it's not children. <laughs> so, like, yeah, if you think children is car- like cartoons and stuff, you'd think a lot of the Disney stuff, right? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. But it's like, you know how the more modern Disney movies are... Like Soul. Uh, yeah, exactly. Stuff like, like that. It's like, shit, yeah, yeah it's, it's in, a child can watch it and an adult can watch it. It's in that weird in between, right? Studio Ghibli is always been yeah. like that yeah. if anything it's Thank you. probably a little bit more geared towards adults than it is towards yeah. children if Honestly. anything but Honestly. it's um the stories are really deep and rich the narrative yeah. is really strong the underlying mm. themes storylines are super super strong and they've like Masam said the multi-layered the multifaceted they're so super multifaceted. there's just so much you can take away from it and especially yeah. because this one was su- supposedly oh. He's a massive last one. capper. His yeah. last one. Mm. When I, I was reading a bit more, because it's definitely one of his most intriguing and confusing ones. Yeah, right? for sure. It, for sure. It wasn't this very is... easily understandable like the other yeah. ones. So when I started to look a bit deeper into it, there's a lot of connections with the other people he co-founded it with, some who passed away and they've represented through certain characters and things like that. So yeah, yeah it's a lot of deep, this... deep layers to it. It's a very deep. And I know, Hoshi, you and me are like big fans of that, right? Like anytime we talk, we... Like we like to watch the horror movies where it's like you know something. Deeper. This is not just a yeah deeper, yeah. and this Smash is it's like yeah, and this is one of like I said, I haven't watched all of his um, filmography. Yeah, filmography. Mm-hmm. Uh, I haven't watched all of his filmography, but this is hundred percent one of the most because, like I said, it's like how do you want to interpret it in the end of the day? Because there's references to Totoro, which was like this. Technically, Miyazaki's first film was Nausicaa of the Wind, Nausicaa Valley of the Wind. But that's not actually technically a Ghibli film. That was predates it, but it was like the same crew. Tot- then it's like Castle of the Sky, which is another amazing movie. And then Totoro. But Totoro is like, Totoro is what made it famous. And Totoro is the actual icon, that big bear monster. And like yeah. Totoro equivalent, just to put into con- con- contrast how big Ghibli are in Japan and Totoro is. Totoro is like their variation Winnie the Pooh. It's like the same cultural significance, right? And so yeah. there's loads of references to Totoro. Uh, in this movie there's references to like spirited way there's references to howls like there's, there's a lot of his like stuff and i haven't seen princess momonosuke and like other ones like this but i'm sure there is there's like grave of the fireflies there's a there's a lot of stuff going on which is really cool and there's a big theme because it's set it's set during world war Two. there's okay. a big theme with the imperialistic nature of japan and mm. like there's like a like a implication about the atomic bomb which is like I'm saying, some of stuff like this we just go, and Nazis and Nazis just Definitely completely go Nazis in there, hundred percent Nazis just goes flipping completely over the head. And so like Shaji, who's never really watched Ghibli movies and he doesn't watch subs as well, he's not watched sub and he doesn't really watch anime, right? So it was like he came out of that movie and he was kind of like confused. <laughs> and I kind of gave him like the groundwork, like a big theme, like the number one fundamental theme with all of Miyazaki's movies is this idea of like childhood innocence into this like fantastical world. And like, there's this big thing with the cultural uh, in Japan society of like, like Tokyo where everybody's I mentioned it last week, right in Japan, where everybody moves from the countryside into the bigger inner cities. And that's left the countryside to bare bones. And it's just the mm. old people there. And it's like dying out and the ghost towns, blah, blah, blah big theme with all the Miyazaki movies are all about like getting out of the bigger towns because the bigger towns are like almost like an analogy metaphor for like these like how do I explain it like regiment robotic robotic, exactly societal things and they always have the steam if you clock of like this little child the main character is always basically a kid right for the most part or a young teen and they all always go into the countryside and it's like this brand new world and this fantasia mm-hmm. and and this like you know so it's really complicated and this movie like you'd have to watch like a breakdown even me i was like stuff just going over and hums was showing references about how like this was like a love letter to miyazaki and his other the other founder of ghibli and like it, it, like complicated stuff complicated that's stuff. interesting what does yeah, that it's mean it's very what complicated the so like so like because because um ghibli was basically founded by three people 
Mizaki, the main guy. I think the other guy is Takahashi, I think, who's done other stuff like the other recognizable ones, like Grave of the Fireflies is him. He's done Only Yesterday. He's done other ones, right? It's basically mostly them two been making all the films the last 30, 40 years. And then also their producer, Suzuki, I think. I can't remember. Anyway, uh, point is this, because the other director died, the other director died in the production of this movie in like 2018. And oh, so shit. like, yeah, so there's like a, there's sort of a, a character in this movie who represents him. Oh, Takashi. that's pretty sick. Mm. And yeah, like I said, we didn't know this. You ain't know we're going to know this unless no. you really look into and delve yeah. into it. And uh, yeah, it's cool stuff like that. So a lot if of praise. If you had to, um, I mean, you've all watched Ghibli movies, right? Now, if you guys Not had all, to say... Yeah. I mean, I mean, all of us three, right? We, sure, sure, yeah, uh, yeah. 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 If you, if you, you three, sorry. If you guys had to pick one Ghibli film for a newcomer to the to watch to get into Ghibli How's films, Moving what would Castle. you? How's Moving Castle? Is yeah. that is that everyone else's opinion as well? Uh, oh, I haven't seen. That's, that was mine. I haven't seen. Okay. That was mine. I haven't seen Howls. Oh, yeah. You gonna say yeah. Ponyo? Yeah, I was gonna say maybe Ponyo. Yeah. 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 I would say it depends. I know you. I know who you're watching this for. It depends. Like, there's Howls is a great one. That's the one I want. They're I all watched. very similar, but very different at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's so funny because <clears throat> it's like this eight year old Japanese guy. I don't know how his his imagination's nuts, bro. <laughs> he's smoking that Japanese not weed, bro. He, he, bro, if he's not high, if he wasn't high making this movie, I'm calling Cap. <laughs> Honestly, bro, he's, it, bro. he's the Tarantino. He's the Tarantino of the Asian world. Literally, he, yeah. He's made like ten movies. And they were bangers, never missed. That's and bro, beautiful. and like the, the the, in this fun, movie, that's, well, you make that. <laughs> that's the funny thing, Jay. Actually, that's the funny thing. His son, even in this movie, there's some like analysis, movie analysis of him. I'm a, you're a disappointment. Disappointment about his son in this movie as it's well, so bro. Peak, bro. What's, it's that, what's that? Like it's his son in the sun. Yeah. Yeah, so what the story is, like Miyazaki's always for the longest time, like being like trying to give over the mantle to his son, Goro Miyazaki. And he's made a movie. I think made one or two. I think he made two. Mizaki ass. publicly denounces it, saying he's ass. He's a disappointment and shit. Like proper <laughs> Asian dad. And that's like, a, and, we all know that feeling, yeah, bro. Yeah. Oh, and Jesus. that's what's funny because he's also, that's what I'm saying. That's why it's hilarious. He's come back. He's wearing this film. He's like, nah, bro, I'm not leaving. He's doing the Wolf of Wall Street style. <laughs> and uh, like in this movie, there's a whole thing about uh ancestral lineage, lineage i'll say that a descendant and i like i i've got a take on i told hamza like low-key part of his him projecting that his son is not good <laughs> enough to take over the mantle 100 so it's inspiration it, you put it in the you yeah, put it in your art bro that's how it really art is so that's what i'm saying like this is the kind of movie i want to watch like a flipping one hour essay breakdown and then re-watch the movie and be like ah oh, this mm. is crazy yeah i get it now it's one of the ones yeah what was yeah. the animation style like compared to the older films it's it's the, it's the same it's the same it's the same character painted designs. backgrounds and stuff yeah that was the other thing this was also very beautiful also me like the whole ghibli is synonymous with like these really satisfying food right i don't know if you jay maybe you've seen the clips or like satisfying cl- food clips of them eating food and making yeah, food yeah. and that was also present in this it, it literally had like everything synonymous with with ghibli basically yeah um yeah but yeah if, if you're out there and you haven't seen the studio ghibli movie you need to go watch one because that stuff is amazing. It's Preach very that. unique. It's one of the They're all on Netflix. So, all on Netflix. Yeah. They're on Netflix. No oh, excuses. Yeah, you, you're listening, girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> my hot take with Studio Ghibli is my neighbor Totoro is mad overrated. Yeah, I knew, I knew you say that. And I, and I watched the movie and it almost brought tears to my eyes, bro. That's a beautiful what, Jay's opinion? movie. Uh, <laughs> Jay's opinion is ass on that. I was like, I couldn't, nah, I couldn't, I couldn't uh, agree with that. I wouldn't that. say any of them are overrated. I just really. think they're all amazing. I, I think, think they're all, all just really as good as each other for all intents and purposes. I, Apart I, I from, would... I haven't seen Porco Rosso, but the rest of them, yeah. I've seen. That's Haram, bro. They, That's yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. bro. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah, like I think they're all just as amazing as each other. Some you might like more than others because your own personal preferences. But I think Totoro I think is all so adorable, man. There's the one scene which maybe you've seen <laughs> of like him. The, so there's two girls once again, two girls with their dad move out into the countryside. Like I said, it's the big theme. Mm. They discover Totoro, which is this gigantic. I think it had to fluffy bear monster thing. Yeah, basically. big hero six five. I've seen it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's the scene of when they're at the bus stop, which is. You might have seen it out of context and maybe don't recognize it unless you see it. 
one of my favorite animation scenes of all time. It is really good. Is it when they're walking one after the other? Is that like one no, in front of the other? It's it's like they're waiting at the bus stop and it's pouring it's rain. Raining. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then Totoro just comes up just completely nonchalant out of nowhere. And only one of the sisters <laughs> has been seeing Totoro the whole film. The other sister is like the whole time the other sister doesn't there's two older sisters, two two older sisters, they're both like five and nine, whatever what the age gap is. It's the baby sister who's been meeting Toro throughout this whole movie. Right. And the older sister doesn't believe it. And they're both at the bus stop because they're waiting for their dads okay, in the yeah, pouring yeah. rain. And Please. then Toro just comes over, just nonchalant. And he just stands next to them. And they're both like, well, what the flip? They it's all like see a, you. Yeah, it's like ah. a proper like Disney adorable cute moment. And then, uh, yeah. So what else has been happening then in the world, lads? Let's get this podcast rolling. You've got Epstein on this list all the time, bro. I know you're dying to talk about Epstein. I'm not, first of all, I'm not dying to talk about Epstein. So if I talk about Epstein, I might actually be dying. <laughs> all right? So check carefully. Although I don't have to use the word alleged, so that's all right. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you've all seen. Uh, wait, yo, what, you, what do you mean by that? Oh, stop it. Don't do that. Don't do that. Right, I'm going to come on a different angle. Do we think that Stephen Hawking Do you think he's are... innocent? No, <laughs> wow, Massam, you're no, crazy, no. No, bro. No, 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 no. no, I'm not playing devil's advocate. <laughs> oh, right, or the devil right. in this case, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, I was going to say, do you man think uh, the Stephen Hawking jokes are okay? The jokes? Yes. The jokes. Yeah. yeah. He was <laughs> on yeah. the island of a convicted nonce. You're asking for it, bro. No, not, he was there. Are you gonna beep up your way out of that one? I, I'm not he was there for a conference, him. bro. I'm not saying mocking him <laughs> per se. Yeah, I, the mocking <laughs> you kind of like you're entitled in it. Like, well, you're entitled. Yeah. You're entitled to get mocked. I'm saying it's making a joke out of a, like the most Disability. serious situation. But it's and making like, a joke out of Hawking, though, isn't it? It's not making a joke out of the situation. It's, it's the absurdity it's of it. Person, it's yeah. not just a normal yeah. person being nonce. Is a one of the best <laughs> physicists ever. Wait, he's not normal. <laughs> You, did you hear what I just said? <laughs> well, which bit? One of, the, <laughs> one, of the, one of the best physicists of all time. That's not normal. Oh, yeah? Yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah, true. And, I agree with that. And he's in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> no, it is true, though. Like, that's, it, just, it just makes it weird, bro. It just no, makes I it mean, weird. let's be honest. That is why everyone's mocking. But I'm just saying, I don't like... Don't get me wrong, it's hilarious... I don't. I don't I'm not not it's laughing, bro. but there is a part of me that's just like, should we really be laughing about kids getting kiddle fiddled? No, like, we're it. laughing about Hawking. It's, it's the fine. act. You're laughing at the fact he did it. That's what you're laughing at. That is. That is what we're laughing at. Yeah, it's we're laughing at the fact that, that it's, he it's so did unimaginable. It. Not, we're not he laughing can't at the do fact it. of what he did. But it's yeah, like exactly. it, it, it's so connected. <laughs> it's so synergized that you're that's laughing at one is making another situation. Shit. Nah, that's the yeah. exactly. It's a very, it's a very Jay important Grease. step, though, bro. It's a very yeah, one yeah. That he significant can't take. step that he can't take. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> it's a step he can't take. All right, listen. Enough of the ableism jokes, bro. Um, I ableism. don't know if it's okay. I don't know if it's okay, bro. I think we got bigger problems than whether making jokes about Hawking is okay or not. I think about the fact that they actually got nonced. Nah, you're focusing on the wrong thing, brother. No, I'm not focusing on the wrong thing. What can I do about that? Oh, he's trying to just oh, he's trying to back up Epstein. No, we've lost him. We've lost him. We've lost him. Lost him. <laughs> no, lost it sucks. Him. In fact, in fact, did you watch the uh, have you ever watched the Epstein documentary on Netflix? No, I haven't no, actually watched you it. You haven't watched it, JVC? No, no, I haven't seen it. It's pretty good. You should watch it. It's pretty good. But um I mean, there's really yeah, go where you go. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you should watch it in it. Watch it. It's informative. Yeah, yeah. So, but, um, bare names have come out. Obviously, we knew about Prince Andrew. Obviously, he nonced me as well. Nonced. Once upon a time. Oh, yeah. Willy Wonka, check that episode out. No. Um, Not so to be alleg- confused allegedly. with actual um, Willy Wonka. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sponsors. He had the other nonce. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, you got Bill Clinton, you got Trump. You got man, who else have they got in there? They got uh, Clinton, David Callum Hudson, Field. Yeah, the Callum Hudson, Adoy. You say allegedly? All these nope. people are alleged, yeah? No, they're not allegedly. They're in, they're in the list, bro. I thought the list hasn't officially leaked though. Like, no, it's leaking. It's leaking. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of it. Was so not... these names are on it, right? So Andrew, Bill Clinton, Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton. Uh, no, but it's also important to say that they're not all in the list being implicated straight away. Some are, like uh, Clinton, yes. Hawkins are. But the others, like Odoi, the footballer, <laughs> that's fake. That was no, a that's fake. fake. That's, that's fake. fake. Oh, that was yeah. a fake list. Yeah, okay, yeah, so, yeah. he wasn't so even born others... when this was happening. 
Okay, say no more. But there are others that are just yeah. They're in the statement, but not not actually saying okay, this person's actually nonsense. Yeah. So the whole point is like people are making. I'll give a few more of the names as well because there's cut some mad names here. There's DiCaprio, Al Gore, Richard Branson, Hawking, Michael Jackson, Kevin Spacey. These are all confirmed. Kate Blanchett. Yeah. 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 Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis, freaking, <laughs> and Chris Tucker, Robert Chris F. Tucker. Kennedy Jr., who's going for president Gotta... right now. All right, there's a lot. There's a lot of people. Man. There's a lot of people. But yeah, the point is that just Robert F. Kennedy. This... You see Robert F. Kennedy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Joe's like this. Yeah. Joe's like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Joe, you don't understand. <laughs> um, but the whole yeah, the whole point is that just because they're on this list doesn't mean they're not. Maybe they visited because if like if the whole that's concept, why I said allegedly, watched. bro. Maybe they watched. <laughs> no, some of them are alleged. Some of them are <clears throat> not so alleged. But like, because like, what you call it? Hawking went for um conference, and Chris Tucker said he went. So okay, so I saw this video, Chris Tucker, right? Uh, he he did doing this like podcast or whatever with some YouTube group. I don't know what they do. They have like a few more subs, to be fair. And he was getting an interview, right? And they just one guy goes so you were on that Epstein list, didn't it? And this question like came out of left field. Tucker wasn't expecting it, right? And he like proper freezes up. Like the most basic analysis of human like, body language. He just gets shook. He no, gets he also, stammering his words. If it's coming from out left. No, no, no. But th- no, no, no. But they're asking him questions like, what did you do on the island? You didn't get up to no hanky panky, did you? And he starts stuttering. He, start, uh, 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 he looks, I'm not saying he is. I'm not saying he ever did it. No, but I right, but I'm just saying I'm not on the list My man looks He just sounded <laughs> oh, yeah. And looked very guilty We incriminate man For starting now That's crazy Yeah it's bro. crazy Because Because um, he, he said He was on it Because they him Bill Clinton They did Epstein, all the plane. And a few others Went on a plane To Africa yeah. For like yeah. some fundraising Thing and it was like Yeah some fun reason. Yeah, you sure you didn't pick up something else when you were sure didn't you like, you didn't have a layoff? Yeah, you sure it was one way. It wasn't. It, sure it wasn't fun. It was. It wasn't fun. It was fun with the N and just that. There was no D after that. He gave the D somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, okay. Allegedly, that's why you should Allegedly. watch the Epstein doc because it's actually the perspective of some of the victims. It's I've seen good. some mad videos oh, mad. though of like this is one guy I think I'm, I don't know if I mentioned all of these before I might have mentioned it just mad time I don't know but basically after hey this, yo okay, finish the sentence <laughs> <laughs> they were this guy he's he's American he's in Texas and yeah. he's Yeehaw. I fucked my Sorry, sister what? <laughs> no, that's, that's Alabama, that's Alabama, Alabama, Alabama bro. bro same uh, shit they all the same bro. fuck Americans oh, bro well we got Nick Saban Sorry, no, 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 no. That, that's a big demographic, bro. Take that back. <laughs> <laughs> they hate us, bro. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so this story. guy. Yeah, well. <laughs> so this guy, he was in uh he was in the airport in Texas and he's recording like he's there like every week or some shit. And he's like, there's all these weird flights going out from this airport, right? It wasn't like a super big airport from a big city, but it was you know, it was some other random city, I don't remember. But he's basically recording these kids, right, that are coming to the airport with these random adults okay some of them sometimes it's a group it's just two kids sometimes just one and sometimes it's like 10 15 20 right and they've been escorted by like these random just weird looking white old people right Greasy, man. <laughs> i'm just gonna be honest this is what i saw in the video in it and he speaks a little bit of spanish and stuff right and he's talking to these kids and he's like who are you what's your name where have you come from where are you going yeah come that's all that yeah and these kids are shook these kids are shook he's asking them like how are you and they're looking at the guy who's with them right and he's they're looking over like for confirmation and the guy's giving them a bombastic side eye (laughs) like nothing before right and these kids don't respond they don't say anything they look like they're shitting themselves and he then goes to this other woman who was in the group of like 20 or whatever with the kids and he's asking her all these questions like where have you come from where are you going so they where did you come from where did you go <laughs> and <laughs> so these these the woman right, so the, the guys is that they're going to uh, some is my son frozen no no, oh, okay. it's in. yeah wow. it's in shock. she's in shock it's a serious topic jay <laughs> yeah serious topic jay Take it, take, do it um, Jay's the one not being serious, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the guys is that they're going to some a summer camp, right? So I don't know, do some kids shit in it. Like I don't know. It's so I know exactly. <laughs> Whoa, exactly, exactly. And the woman's not responding. 
she's literally looking at he's like can you tell me where they're going is there like a like freaking tracking number for this flight like what's going on blah 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 no response he's like are you taking these kids to like epstein's island are you taking them to this dodgy place no response he's like do you have he's just going out i'm like do you not have any humanity you're trafficking these kids you're abusing them all this stuff and these these people are just like cold face not responding and he goes he goes like blah 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 you have a legal obligation to tell me like certain details nothing they and could be on a school trip and not speak english no but they're not no 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 they're not because he's speaking spanish <laughs> This, the Mexican kids. The what, Mexican if they, kids. What, what if they just profiled them and they're no. not from Mexico? <laughs> no, 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 they're Mexican kids. Because the whole thing is that they get traffic from the border, their parents get left behind in Mexico, they bring the kids through, and then they take these kids and they traffic them. It's That's fucked up, it, Bro, I'm telling you, this video was insane. I could not believe what I, it made me feel sick because it was I so obviously true. It was yeah. so obviously clear that they were being trafficked. It, it was it was clear as daylight allegedly that's so sad man i saw th- i saw this crazy like it's kind of off topic though pardon the voice break as well lads um i saw <laughs> this you think by 2024 we stop i'm not i'm never leaving that in the previous year it's gonna carry you through for the rest of my life but i saw this um not it's not off topic but it's slightly in the same vein but there was this uh article that i saw online where in america in certain i think it was is that ikea in america is there IKEA in America? But basically, there was like you're some, talking about Wayfair. Wayfair, yes, it was Wayfair. I was yeah, yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, where they were selling um, items named Wardrobes, after cupboards girls. And stuff, yeah, yeah, and missing apparently children. it was missing children. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was. It was crazy to hear oh, about. I don't know I if it was been debunked. What like surnames? Yeah. <clears throat> no, full, no. First, like, sometimes it was full names, first names, or surnames, and it'd be like a wardrobe or a cupboard or something like that, and they would have the ne- the exact name. That brother, like you're not calling a flipping wardrobe fucking nancy or something bro. freaking something fernandez or some shit bro you're just not you're not doing it just and it's <laughs> so weird i was gonna say hernandez and then fernandez <laughs> but like it's so it was so mad i, I don't I, know I if it's been away. debunked or I, I don't know if it's actually been like you know okay this is actually <laughs> true look into it but oh, boy, it has to be true man allegedly but it looked it sounded fun so don't come to our podcast for informative information yeah please um, don't <laughs> definitely not from our show <laughs> <and I'm sorry. laughs> hey, 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 at least we bring something uh, Ooh. Hey, yeah, what are you trying okay. to say um <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you know they found the hook gay guy this, this guy found him in a yeah, random village random in africa geezer. the the guy who was the tour guide yeah, yeah. The, the okay okay and he had oh no idea how big God. he was as a side note. But yeah, there you go. Wait, hold on a second. That's the funniest thing I've ever heard you said. You, you just basically said, did you know they found another person? <laughs> hey, they found him like in a random he's village a in Uganda, being, bro. bro. Of course he's going to exist. He's fake. No, yeah, they but... Random no village one. in Uganda. He needs to monetize yeah. that, bro. He needs to have like fucking Ferdy did for like about two months. <laughs> Make some peas and fuck off. Where's he at? Made oh. some peas and fucked off. He back to being delivery <laughs> driver. He made a song as well. Unwillingly, yeah, I unwillingly, I can promise you, you'd want more tracks. We could, yeah, that's true. Oh, that's true. That is true. Uh, but yeah, but yeah what do we think on? about these kids getting trafficked? It sucks, it's horrible. Fair enough. I'd so, someone I'd say because so far no one had said it apart from me. It's and true. So it's, you I've heard the story. I've heard the story. Said, that's an obvious <laughs> statement. You don't need to say that. <laughs> no, sometimes the obvious isn't so obvious. <laughs> that's why you said allegedly to everything. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get sued. Mm. Okay. All right. Was Zaki there? Was Zaki on the list? Zaki Zuck. He's on, he Zaki kind, Zaki. he's on some kind of list, bro. He's on our list. I just he's not human. He's on that list <laughs> too. He's on the alien list. <laughs> yeah, he's on the UFO he's on the list. Exactly. Immigration <laughs> list. Exactly. <laughs> uh, Zaki Zuck, yeah. So this is actually a funny story. So apparently, allegedly, this guy <laughs> has, <laughs> has taken over half of Hawaii, right? And yeah. all the locals are going mad at him because he's um not just him, Winfrey as well. Yeah, Bear Bear Man. Oprah. At least two of them. There's what a whole they, island which is owned by another guy as well. Um what's his name? Do you know his name? Oh not again. Head? There's not a hotel on like the north side. That <laughs> I'll is find out pretty much half the island at that point. Um but yeah, Zuckerberg is he's it's really weird, right? What he's done is Larry Ellison, sus. by the way, the guy who owns Oracle. He owns oh, um L- um Lanai. Got the shopping center. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, they do have a they do have a headquarters there. To be fair, they do. They do. Shout out Reading, the better part of the area. No, <laughs> but yeah, sorry, Jay. Yeah, it's better, um, Slough. Sorry, what, Masan? What were you gonna say? 
Uh, I was in the. You finish. You finish. All right, great shot. Go okay. finish. Finish. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> set the groundwork, and then I'll yeah. bury underneath. If you know what I'm trying to say. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Like the all trafficking. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> I was, just, I was just overtly watched the trafficking video, bro. That wasn't <laughs> underground at all. Right, Zuckerberg, after Ireland, he's he's doing this project where he's creating a $270 million compound, and the entire project is under NDA, right? So no one's allowed to speak about it. There have been cases of workers who have posted about it on social media, and they've been fired the next day, um, wow. which is mad. Heroes. So 270 <laughs> mil. I don't know what compound he's making, but it's... It's been discovered that part of that is going to be a 5,000 square foot underground bunker that is going to be able to self-sustain with food and energy. Um, and That's some nuclear shit. there are a lot of I'm other very wealthy people doing similar things across the US, which is what's come out after the, out of this. Um, and I wanted to I wanted to touch on this article I read about a guy called Douglas Rushkoff. He's he's basically That's he's like Russian. a Guardian editor. <laughs> For the, not just for the Guardian, but he's he's known as a futurologist. So all he does is work on what is the future of the world going to look like in terms of technology. Uh, his mm. name's Douglas Rushkoff. So he made a, an article in 2022 where he, he he does like lots of talks and stuff, right? And he got an email um, from some what they they refer to themselves as ultra wealthy stakeholders. So he got an email from these random dons, and they said, look. We'll fly you out to the desert. We want to have a secret meeting with you because we want to ask you questions about the future of the world, future of tech. And he was like, right, you know what? I don't want to do this, but the bag's too big, so I'll go for it. <laughs> <laughs> so he went to the desert, right? and he's documented all this. He went to the desert, and then he spoke to these guys. And it started off pretty pretty normal, right? They they sat him down in this like random green room um, in the middle of the desert. And they started asking him about, like, what do you think is going to going to blow up more um, Bitcoin or Ethereum? Uh, what do you think is going to be like the future of tech in terms of self-driving cars questions, and all man. that stuff? Right. And he was like, yeah, OK, whatever. Do you actually care about this? This is like normal conversation. You can just go on Reddit and read this, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then, then they started to get a bit more dodgy with their questions. Right. They started asking, all right, um, Alaska or, or Australia, if, uh, if a natural disaster happens, like what's the best place to, to hide out? Then they started asking, okay, if the event occurs, um, what's the best way to self-sustain yourself and, and to, uh, to make sure that you still have control over all your stuff, all your property without other people trying to break in? And he was thinking, what the hell are you lot on about? What is the event? I ain't never heard of this before. And I'm meant to be the one that knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> then he started to think about this. And he realized that what these guys are referring to as the event is any form of world collapse, right? And their view of what it means to be wealthy and what the future of tech is, is how well they can insulate themselves from the rest of the world, right? That's what their view is. Their view of success is I'm going to make all this money doing bad shit and then I'm going to use that to escape all the bad shit that I've just created, right? Hmm. And he was thinking about this. Uh, just to make more money. Well, exactly, right? So all it is. <laughs> but we can do that money. Stay in a bunker five miles underneath Hawaii. Well, Great chat. That's the thing. It's not only Nonsense. were they asking him about how to do that, Allegedly. but they were also asking, how can I control all the Navy SEALs that I'm paying off to be my security? Right? <laughs> that's what these dons were asking. They said, look, if I control. pay these guys, yeah, if I pay these guys to be my security and the world goes to shit, right? What, what can I do to have control over them so they don't just overthrow me? Because I'm the rich one. So, so they were thinking about like, how can we use padlocks that only require my fingerprint? Or can I have like electric collars on these guys? So if they go out of hand, I can just, I can just zap them. Kill them, yeah. And, the Pinel. and he was just sat there thinking, yeah, all right. This, this is literally the plot of Elysium. If anyone's seen that film, right? Oh, all really? the rich people go off onto a different planet, mm -hmm. leave the earth to rot because they've made enough money making the earth rot that they can go live somewhere else, right? And then the last bit it's of this. It's also Horizon. It's, yeah, exactly. <laughs> the yeah. last part of this, which is the funniest bit of all, is he then like re released this uh, this article, twenty twenty two, for the Guardian, and within a few days, he was getting bombarded with emails from like doomsday prepper companies, um, other wealthy dons who wanted his advice, and then one particular person, which I didn't even know this was a thing, but the president of the American Chamber of Commerce in Latvia whatever the fuck that means this guy 
emailed emailed him and said, you know what? I've been through, this guy's quite old, right? So he's been through like the fall of the Soviet Union and how how they've gone about rebuilding everything. He's been through a lot of different like civil wars and stuff as being this chamber of commerce don. So he said, listen, I've, I understand and I agree with you that these wealthy people and their mindset is absolutely lost. What I'm doing in secret in New York is I'm building a bunch of farms that are safe havens that can be absolutely run off their own energy, off their own food. So if the event occurs, you anywhere in New York, any person can be 20 minutes away from a safe haven and they can just go underground and live for years, which is like, wow. what's, what's that film with um, everything goes oh. to shit and they go underground? Uh, 11 Cloverfield Lane, yeah. is that it? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've been thinking Cloverfield Lane the whole time yeah, since yeah, 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 like yeah. a prepper. Bro, you are some messed up people in this world. Like, it's Money is really and truly the root of all evil. Breaking news. It really, yeah. The power, the, the the desire for power makes people do the most insane things. They're so, I, you know what? This is, it's kind of a, it kind of answers itself to be honest. But like, I've never, I, it's not that I don't understand. I just, I, it's so incomprehensible how these type of people, yeah, these ultra rich, right? We're talking like all these people that I just mentioned on the Epstein list and stuff, right? They get so like wrapped up about power and money, they literally turn into nonces. And they literally turn into murderers and they literally just turn into all of these things. And it's like literally what Jay said, they want to destroy the world, profit from that, and then go into hiding with minimal freedom to move them out and do anything. It makes no sense. It, the, it's a psychological the, I don't get it. Thing, yeah. The funniest thing about it, right, is like they are super powerful in a world where money rules, right? Mm. And they're trying to figure out what they can do in a situation where the world has gone to shit right for whatever reason warfare natural yeah, disaster yeah, yeah. whatever right but in doing so that world will have no value there'll be no value for currency pretty much exactly so their power goes to zero right so they're so cared they're so they're caring so much about how to maintain control in a world where they will overtly have no control exactly it makes no sense I mean, unless they really believe in moving to Mars or some dumb shit, yeah, it makes no sense. But if they believe in that, long day for the minute, Massa. <laughs> Did I want to move to Nevada? <laughs> Arizona, bro, come on. Yeah, okay, I might be dumb saying this, but like, I just, wh why Hawaii? Surely you'd think with all the earthquakes and them being on tectonic plates and tsunamis that they've encountered and it's literally lands created from volcanic eruptions, right? Like, how would that be a sustainable place if you want to have a prepper there because that'd be like the last place like surely the sea what? level is also like flipping zero I'm guess a bit what confused. it's in the middle of nowhere no one can get there i guess maybe there's something what like that, what but... islands are there in the world that are so removed from the rest of the world impossible to get to yet are still built up like a first world country <laughs> hawaii Dude. Didn't oh, someone didn't someone make a clip about the certain island that's closest to uh, the lunar the lunar station? Point, and it point, my point Nemo, that was just yes. with the dump stuff. That's not, <laughs> an island. that's not an island. That's just with the dump stuff. Oh. It's the open sea, yeah. But like, I mean, Epstein. Oh, so, so very that, that's in the middle of Caribbean, bro. That's not actually that far from other places. It's hard to get to, though, isn't it? Right it's, well, it's hard to get to get a shot up. <laughs> but like, Oprah Winfrey, Oprah Winfrey. I don't know why I keep referring to people in this episode in their surnames. I said Tucker. I don't know what's going on. But um, Oprah. She had this thing as well where after the California wildfires happened, I think just before they happened or something, she bought like a load of land and then the wildfires happened. And then with Hawaii stuff, when they had the uh, fire fires as well, recently wildfires last year, she bought a load of land as well with The Rock too. And they did this whole like fundraising thing and everything, despite the fact they got more money than they know what to do with they earn millions on a weekly basis right um they did this whole thingy and they didn't she didn't provide any of the land and her land's like not even built on or anything like that but she didn't provide any shelter on her god knows how many acres of land she has in hawaii um to give safe haven for people and like the hawaiian government is just like completely sold out um obviously it's, obviously it's part of the u.s but it's, it's completely like sold out and it's people are just yeah like i said the guy who owns oracle literally owns one entire island of Hawaii. It's it's nuts. What it's do you nuts. think they're prepping for? Do you think the, the event is close then? Do they think it's, it's called Armageddon, soon? brother? <laughs> <laughs> it's called Armageddon. 
I don't know. When do you think it's going to happen? Be. Yeah, I don't want to be alive for that still. What do you think is more likely to happen? I guess is a better question. Do you think it's it's going to be warfare? What do you think it'll be natural climate change, natural disasters? Or not? But natural above? disasters are created, I think, personally, through all the stuff that these guys that we're talking about do. Yeah. They profit but, off that. Yeah, sure, sure, I mean, sure. But like versus someone actually throwing well. throwing like fifty nukes down different in it. Yeah, 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 that's just the easiest one, isn't it? That's just the quickest I don't think one. That's gonna happen. Yeah, but that we're the closest to that than having a existential global crisis, right? Like it literally takes one but don pressing a button. It's instant. Sure, sure, sure. Purposes. True, but how close are we to actually someone doing that? Like realistically, it's, it's just a nuclear clock, war right? is just dick measuring contest, man. No, but it's the thing, the, the doomsday clock which tells you how far so we need to go to yeah, happen. Yeah, yeah, no, I think yeah, it refers yeah, to like how close we are to nuclear warfare. And I think that's it's what I'm saying. Like, like, yeah. Doomsday clock, yeah. How close we are to destroying the world with our, with our dangerous te- technologies. Yeah, and it like resets or some shit, doesn't it? Yeah, and I think it's the closest since the the Cold War, I think, since the Cuban Missile Crisis. I think. Something like that. I saw something like that. So, for all intents and purposes, the closest in the last 50 years, 60 years. What's it saying at the moment? It's saying we are 90 now seconds to point. midnight, I think. It says yeah. 90 seconds to midnight, which is like the closest we've been. What does that yes, mean? Okay, here, here's, does that so here, here's an idea. I, I assume it, when it gets to midnight, the world implodes, right? So, if, here, uh, for some <laughs> context. Don't dead before you can do the last for, for Yeah, for some context, <laughs> in 2012. It was five minutes to midnight. In 2015, it was three minutes. 2017, it was two and a half minutes. 2018, it was two minutes. 2020, it was 100 seconds. And then 2023, it's 90 seconds to midnight. But didn't it go down? Did it, well, just for the sake of argument, would it have gone down in 2012 due to the, the you know, the everyone thinking the world's going to end due to natural disasters? I want to see if it actually, like, reverses because from what I can see... Oh, to be fair, in, from 1990, it was 10 minutes, and then 1991, it was 17. And then since then, it has been periodically going down. Except in 2007, which was the financial crisis, but it hadn't actually hit yet, it was five minutes to midnight. And then in 2010, which is like semi-peak freaking financial crisis, it was then six minutes. This is just like a bunch of fraud to me, to be honest. This is fraudulence, bro. I'm reading here that so during fraud. the creeping missile crisis in 1962, seven minutes to midnight. Brother, you're telling me that <laughs> you're telling the literal creeping It seems crisis. like the doomsday clock is made by the people that are creating the dooms. <laughs> <laughs> how, so how does it work? Is it saying we're always 90 seconds to midnight away from the end of the world? I think it's just so every day. If, I, if it sounds like a figure of speech, no, 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 bro. It sounds like a bunch of yeah. warfare as well. It's like DefCon yeah. or such shit, man. Yeah. <laughs> DefCon one. Oh god. What? So yeah, that is weird though. What does the seconds represent? Does it say anything on the website? Uh, let me let me find out if you talk about some of the shit. Maybe it is like <laughs> not. You could be. We could at any point be ninety seconds away from someone pressing a button. Whereas during the Cuban Missile Crisis, that tech wasn't that good, didn't it? actually i think that's true i'm not a historian but i think the true thing is when they had when they had the face off between the two warships the guy wasn't getting radio communication and he went free willing just like nah i'm not going to do it i think that's i think that's actually true there was some kind of telecommunication stuff going on um but even tens of purposes there, that's one button bro it's one button so that doesn't make sense to me i don't understand and, and you would think I know I said that. I know I'm the one who said it's one button, but I'm sure there's little lit protocols, right? Like flipping army general has to put this key in here and another one has At to put the same this time. key in there. Yeah. yeah. Like I'm sure there's something that has <laughs> to be done. You can't... <laughs> yeah, every film over. It's not like a literal big red button. It seems like you it's just to... a figure of speech. Okay, but, like a... but yeah. with that in mind, I hear it. We're always the very next moment. It could be the end of the world, but... That is always the very next day. That could that could be the very next moment, right? But in terms of like things that are actually happening right now, what about in that sense? Like how how close do you think that we are to an actual war where it's like it's gone so shit in the world where okay, cool, now it's time to press the button. Like, do you think we're heading closer and closer to I it? I don't think I don't think so personally. Do we have the balls? Do we have I the don't, balls to do it? I don't think so personally, because I think that Yeah. The US yeah, the and the UK and all of these other major countries are just so in line with each other with such unprecedented 
levels of technology like nukes and things like that that i don't think will ever go into another world war or anything like that because i just, it, just doesn't, take. it doesn't make any sense because if you're gonna so the last world war we had involved nukes if we have another world war it's going to involve other nukes otherwise what's the point and if it does include other nukes then everyone's nuked up to the gills yeah so no one benefits from everyone just dropping nukes on each other because then no one quite literally knows how to exist Bunkers, so i don't bro. think another nuke will ever be dropped personally i don't think it ever will i disagree with you so much, that's bro. that i don't think it will ever be dropped like in the day opinion. okay let's say if uh, joe biden decides to press the big red button you think he don't have a you bunker? think he knows how to press it okay let's say kamala harris presses the big red button you don't think she has like a big red like a bunker like you don't think they have all these protocols involved this is being yeah no i'm, I'm saying they do 100 but that's I don't think what i'm saying they're not gonna be really like jeopardized really are they no they let's would be because the whole of the us would get blown to smithereens so they have and it'll be un like look how much damage there is on on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Imagine if that shit starts dropping on New York and Washington. It's yeah, not they'll happen, just they'll opinion, just personally. bomb whatever that country is to shit, win the war, and just start over again. Man, I don't know. I feel like you're you're honestly rating no, but why would they rank the West too much? Why, no, but why why would they when they've already systematically destroyed all of North Africa and the Middle East without ever touching the nuclear weapon? No, but this is out all out war, right? This is right. a world war. Yeah. In that situation, yeah. I think Masam's trying to say, imagine if all the countries were doing that. Is that what yeah, you're trying to yeah. say, Masam? Let me not put your words in your mouth. Are you trying to say if every country is saying, all right, cool, let's go war yeah. and everyone's sending out nukes. In that situation, Biden and his his gang, his, his entourage, his posse. Have a, yeah, his posse has a place to stay. And oh, they so, 100% yeah. have places to stay. So then I they can just, just rebuild, right? They can just start again after the world's been, you know, washed out. Something's gonna happen. There would be nowhere to go, though. Exactly. If the entire world gets nuked, where are you gonna go? Because the the amount of destruction a nuke can do today compared to Hiroshima, it's not even comparable, right? Do you think? No, though, no, hundred like, percent. You know, like this is a terrible analogy, but you know, like on GTA Five map, right? You can't see the military base, <laughs> but it exists. You, I, I bet you there's probably so many unearthed islands that are probably man-made. Area 51, isn't it? That's literally in the US and you can't even go near it. Yeah, I bet you there's that's so known, many. That is known. On that's the Pacific. Unknown. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. I bet you there's so many un, like, unnamed islands in the Pacific Ocean 100%. that are probably man-made and they just go there. I don't know. I just, I just feel like 100%. literally to quote Christopher Nolan's Batman, Sometimes people just want to see the world burn, innit? Oh, hundred percent. Like, so there are there are many like um, <clears throat> small islands. Again, obviously known, but like the military bases that you like just can't go on and stuff like that. And they're like super, super small and just in the middle of nowhere. Like, yeah. It's just, okay. It's with really with weird. that in mind, with that in mind, so what weird. about it? Suck. It's the weirdest <sighs> thing ever because it's it's such, the unknown, bro. The un and eighty percent of the world is not even known to us. The, Ocean isn't known to us. Imagine yeah, there's like yeah, an yeah. underwater base or something like that. It's mad. But with oh, that Atlantis. in mind, Atlantis kind of cool. Right? <laughs> I Atlantis. like that. I like what you wrote. I, yeah. I, I wouldn't Imagine. mind watching the world burn to visit an underwater base, bro. Sometimes you need to just watch the world burn to see something <laughs> You're cool in it, like, out of the blue. Yeah, and so we make it big enough, isn't it? Atypical to the under the world, <laughs> under the sea. But um, what about in terms of climate crisis? What if, there's an actual under clock the for that, sea. isn't there? <laughs> yeah, Where it's like it's like. Is there? I've never I swear there's like a, a yeah, there is a point of no return. Oh, yeah, we got past that like twenty years ago at this point. Nah, the, I think there was a clock seen... set up twenty years ago. Yeah, enough. have you not seen the <laughs> recent Square stats? Have you not seen the recent stats where we were, we were aiming to keep the world under under like one point five degrees or something? It says deadline then. five years, one hundred eighty nine days to limit the world to oh, to one point five. Yeah, yeah. yeah, this is so ominous, bro. <sighs> So I we, believe we that to, that's happening. We were meant to hit. We were meant to hit one point five. If mm. I think it was like when it was tracked in two thousand and eight or whatever, mm. we were meant to hit one point five by twenty fifty or something. Something like that. Yeah. But now the trend is so much is happening so much quicker that we're going to hit one point five by like twenty thirty. Well, there you have it, lads. We're all going to die because we're all going to get sweaty and. <laughs> 
It's, it's already oh, it's like a firework. Okay. I thought someone bombed. I mean, we're still technically in an it's ice like, age. Shit. Which bro, is you hear that? Oh, here it gets. Bro, yeah, where's that, bro? Ends up popping bro, off, bro. I was gonna fucking start digging in my garden and make a bunker myself, bro. <laughs> Fuck, so the, all the way to Australia. The thing <laughs> is, right? We're still technically in an ice age, right? And we're in. Oh, this... look at this conspiracy no, theory. No, it's not. Cause I'm literally giving you. Science, yeah, you sound bro. like a Republican candidate, no. bro. You talk, you talk, Are you Donald Trump? It's Donald Trump. You mean like younger Trump? Younger Trump said that. You call me Vivek, bro. No, yeah. we we're literally in an ice age, and we're in the part of an ice age, the cycle of an ice age, where everything heats up. So it's like there's so much context out there, and things like this are blown out of proportion as well. I think personally, where it's like. Really so you don't recycle is what you're telling me so you don't nah, believe recycle, in, the, in the climate crisis is what you're saying i personally don't know i think it's blood box. Yeah. I, I did say donald vivek is actually a better one i should have made the joke not donald. That is very you're calling song. me indian i'm calling you brown um so you know when it comes uh, to the uh climate crisis though right you don't care about the polar bears bro because that that's undisputable the polar bears are dying bro the turtles save the turtles. Oh, shoot, bro. Honestly, oh, shoot. Are you safe? I can hear you. I don't, bro. I'm scared. Yeah, boy, Someone that? died Brandon the other day, ghetto, bro. bro. Did they actually? Ratata. Ratata. <laughs> don't do uh, that, please. No. no, I think it was an attempted murder, actually, <laughs> not a murder. Kaywood Close down uh, London Road, I think. Yeah, someone got. Um, attempted, so they failed. Stabbing. Yeah, what flopping is Just like the Japanese <laughs> woman. Just like the Japanese woman. Got yeah. her job on the train. I'm oh, going to, yeah. <laughs> you failed. You're a they failure. failed, man. Do better. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wild. Um, story. Speaking about war, <coughs> have you like depressing s- episode, man? Epstein, yeah, I'm trying to. War. I'm trying to move away from that because it's, yeah, it's very, it's very dark. Things. Let me try. Let me try. I'll try spice it up. Speaking about war, <laughs> <laughs> did you guys I see? I tried. <laughs> did you guys see? Um, in in New Zealand, for the first time in 170 years, uh, there's been the youngest MP. In Parliament for the first time in 170 years has yeah, not been did the hacker, it? Uh, exactly. Sort of a... That was sick. I love the hacker, man. Exactly. She did the she did the hacker. For anyone that doesn't know what the hacker is, it's basically like a. Oh, war let, let me do it for you. God, God, <laughs> God, live, live. Let's go. We I need don't it. Culturally like, appropriate, appropriate, isn't it? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to my That's Samoans, timing. isn't it? Shout out, Samoans. Man. What do you know about Samoans, bro? You're bro, halfway across the world. Met Samoan in Jordan, bro. Shout out. Innit? Okay, cool. Jeez, what's his name? Yeah. Anyway, back to <laughs> now, hold that thought. I know it started uh, with W. It. I know it started with W. It was a weird bit of a weird name. Is it? Wow. I think it was, I think it was Wesley. Now. I think it was Wesley. It was Wes. Shout out Wesley. Wesley the Samoan. Shout, Shout out Wesley. Out. If you're My watching, guy. let us know. Comment down you're below. But basically, not. she did. She probably yeah. He's definitely not. She did the. She did the hacker. For anyone that doesn't know, it's a war cry. You might have seen it in rugby when New Zealand's playing. And it's been passed down through generations. Back in the day, it used to be done as part of um, <coughs> when people used to go to war, before war, um, to intimidate and scare the opponent. She And now it's been done in generations. It's been passed down and now it's been done in like situations where it could be anything just to celebrate the culture, etc. And my son, I, I know you want to laugh and say something. You wanna, do you want to inter- interject real quick? No, what, no, you go, you go. Okay, you cool. go, you go. So basically, she did it as part of an introductory thing to Parliament. She did the hacker. And it was I can't have you not seen the video by any chance? Yeah, I have. Yeah, Why yeah, are you man. laughing? Why are you laughing? Bro? I'm laughing because it's a war cry, and on our first day when our new job, she starts doing the war cry. Right? <laughs> That's, the That's one way of putting shit. it. That's yeah, one way of putting it's, it. It's the first day in a new job, like she's with a brand new suitcase and everything, just <laughs> well, rocks up. Funnily like, enough, death to America, bro. Like, can you imagine death that? I'm in Congress. <laughs> yeah. Funnily enough, people were saying, people were commenting saying. There's a time and a place <laughs> that you should be doing this. Yeah. If you're playing rugby, then say yeah. no more. But you are in Parliament, sports, my love. You're going to yeah. war, isn't it? You're going, you're going to, to war, war for intense purposes. The yeah. problem, man, you do the hacker, and then like, all right. So where do we put the teachers' bill? <laughs> well, how much money? How much money are we giving the teachers then? <laughs> Oh, that was that was real good though. Yeah. That was real. Do that next time <laughs> that too. Was yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was good. That was that was yeah. sick. But like that was uh... sick though. But like the state of the economic world and <laughs> yeah. the politics yeah. and that. <laughs> but basically, you know, it, it made it made a statement that I really respected in that sense. Like she's the youngest, so she had to she had to do something to level the playing field, right? Now she's going to be taken seriously. I really respect it. But it got me thinking about like 
what people you, uh, if you watch the video firstly have you have you guys seen the video by any chance I've seen the video, seen? Yeah, yeah. it is i can't lie to you it started off by her just doing it on her own and then she got into it more people started you know getting oh, yeah, into yeah. it <clears> by <throat> the end of it the whole room was echoing oh, i didn't I get that like, far i watched the whole thing Fair and enough. it was it was amazing like it was very it was very like um I've seen you know when you watch... gets me emotional bro i can't even lie man that's what i'm that's trying so to say big... to you it gave me goosebumps i was like this is actually insane right and it got me thinking about like like other primal war chants and things that must have happened back in the day because that kind of shit unlocks something in your primal instinct right I, i'm not saying this happened to me but everyone around her was just hyped yeah hyped yeah, yeah. right it's energy it's raw energy proper energy so i was looking into like other things that people used to do back in the day where mm. you know to kind of intimidate the opponent and mm. like other other things that might have been done, done in religion and culture back in the day and i found a couple right have you guys heard of the aztec death whistle by any chance oh yeah, yeah that's nuts. that thing is crazy <clears throat> you know joe rogan brother that shit is insane Hamza, <laughs> if you don't mind could you please put like a five second clip here yeah if possible man. Yeah, I know you don't want to, but yeah. No, 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 I'll do it, I'll do it. Yeah, just uh, <laughs> lower your volume for a minute in the lads. <laughs> yeah, please, a volume warning here. Three, but, two, um... one. It's fucked, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it literally sounds like literally women crying. You like, you know, when a fox screams outside your yard, ignore the fireworks. <laughs> it's the worst, bro. It's the worst. It is fucked, right? <laughs> it, it, it sounds like someone's getting murdered, right? Yeah, yeah. It's attempted, not that. attempted, actually getting murdered, and it's a problem. <laughs> so succeeding. imagine that succeeding to murder. <laughs> so imagine that in like those days in a fucking forest you're about to go to war, complete darkness, 150 of these fucking whistles going off in one go. Brother, I'd be running. I'd be running the other way. It's just no point. Like I'm not I'm not involved. But then I also saw <laughs> then I also saw the Celtic Carnics. Have you not heard of this? By any chance? No. Celtic. How do you spell it? Out of curiosity. Uh, Celtic. C- yeah. Celtic. C A R N Y X. N Y X. Bro, this unlocked some next fucking like fear in my body when I heard it. Like you need to. It's like this long, long horn that goes directly into the air. It's meant to like bellow above the enemy, and it travels far. And um, Hamza, here's a yeah, yeah, clip. I'll do my job, bro. I got you. Listen to it here and let us know what you think. That's my wake up alarm. <laughs> well, that shit's eerie, bro. Bro, you know where I am right now in my head, bro. I'm walking through the marshes. It's a it's a misty morning, yeah. We got one thousand soldiers behind me, freaking walking down with like Scottish kilts and that, yeah, going to war, yeah. bro. That's where my head's at right now. That's what I'm saying. I can't bro. even lie. That is... put me in a place. This shit is insane. Like, imagine hearing that and you're about to go to war. You've never seen... I think it was the Romans, right? The Romans and the Celtics. Imagine yeah. a young Roman boy about to fucking fight. He has never seen this kind of warfare before and you hear that right before you fucking fight. Bruv. Going against the lad's breed with iron. That's what he got iron do for a minute. And these lot Tell believed in... <laughs> these... <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> no, try shit, bro. <laughs> what <do> you mean? <laughs> you did. I was like, "There's no way, bro." <laughs> Breed with a fighting spirit, spirit, <laughs> some haggish. Oh god, bro, just I uh, can't. I'm just putting myself in that situation. I closed my eyes for a second, just listened to it, and I was like, "This shit is fucked." You got that, these guys didn't even believe in a permanent the tongue death, and that. With the guy, yeah, 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 and all that. I'm not going to do it. Cause what's that? What's that? <laughs> with the spears. You know, you know the African one with the spears, isn't it? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. of course. That, the that's thing is, saying, there's like... still tribes about today. I wonder what the new age war cry is. What's 2024? Dubstep, Skrillex dubstep. Skrillex dubstep on the beat drop, bro. You go crazy. Bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rude sandstorm, bro. Yeah, imagine I've clipped this, yeah? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, yeah, that's really cool. You know, the, uh, I guess, throat whistle. Throat, throat singing. Oh, Mongolian, Mongolian throat singing. Mongolian yeah, throat yeah, 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 that Mongols would be. That would be the modern day equivalent. 
Is that for war? Nah, that's just I thought it was just like singing. singing it. But I'm sure they could do some yeah. nasty stuff with that throat. The throat oh, goes through. <laughs> Uh, you actually Vivek, you actually Vivek Ramaswamy. Did you see? Don't you dare you, call me that again. Did you see Vivek I'm not Ramaswamy? South Indian. <laughs> he put on his uh, he put on his uh, Twitter, am. he put on his Twitter a picture of his wife, and he's like, you know, like you know, because first lady, potential whatever, yeah, yeah first lady yeah. in a week, I don't know what classifies when you're trying to run for candidate. And the first word he used to describe to her was basically um, throat surgeon. So everyone was like, hey, yo, hey, yo, yo throat Vimpeg goat. Rizzo Swami. <laughs> oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> He's like, it was like something like throat surgeon, mother, I don't know, whatever uh, the other. In, in that order, right. yeah. It, genuinely, the first one was throat surgeon and everyone was like, throat goat. Oh, Vimpeg Rizzo Swami. As, as a fellow South Indian, I'd like to say we don't claim this guy. He doesn't speak for us. My my wife will not be a throat surgeon first. She'll be a wife. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be a wife and a She'll mother. She'll be a woman. <laughs> She'll yeah. be a woman. Have you seen uh, the other candidate, the uh, Nikki Haley? I'm sorry. Do you know who Nikki Haley? Uh, is? He obliterated her, didn't he? Yeah, On but stage. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was well, thinking the same thing. <laughs> there's a reason why he, he obliterated cool. her. She's like, uh, I think she's half Sikh. I think, or she is like full Sikh. I can't remember what it is, right? Yeah. So she's got like an actual Indian name. She's, she's really? like. Yes, oh, she is, bro. Nimur- Nimurata. Yeah, Nimurata. And Nimurata. but the thing is, she's Randawa converted. Was her original name, yeah. Yeah, but she's converted to Christianity and oh. like, adopted Nikki Haley and stuff. And there's a. What? That's why. Wait, wait, hold on. It's funny. She does it's... not look Sikh or Punjabi. Oh, a Sikh obviously doesn't count because she'd be Sikh anyway. But like, she doesn't look Indian or Punjabi at all. And both of her parents are Indian. Is she yeah, like, Punjabi. Yeah. Yeah. That makes no um, hey, the maths is not mapping, bro. <laughs> this is what's funnier. This is what's funnier. So she's obviously converted to Christianity and I think her kids are also Christians and she's like nah, taking the name Nikki. Nah. Haley. One of her parents isn't actually her parents, bro. This is this woman literally <coughs> is not looking Punjabi. You might look her up, yeah, because the maths is not mapping here. Oh my so No, nah, but she's you know, American. Bro. Uh, no, no, I'm both of her saying, parents bro. are Punjabi. Basically, Nikki Haley, yeah, she's her kids. I think she's made her kids also adopt Christianity. But the thing is, when she was into getting interviewed, two things that everyone's talking about. One, she can't say Vivek Ramaswamy. And Vivek is like, you of all people should be able to say my name. Yeah, that's number one. And number two, that's what he destroyed. And then number two, when she was explaining that she basically, like the kids have their choice to go to the good war or not, she describes it as Indian churches. On the flipping like one hour, where is she like, from? Uh, was she that's born wrong in India? On soul levels. Was she born? Yeah, in she goes Indian churches, bro. Uh, I, she's, I think she's born in. America. I'll tell you right now, bro. She was born in America. Basically, her parents are from South Amritsar. Carolina. Her parents are from Amritsar, right? Both of them are Punjabi, and they are. And I've just seen a picture of them. The most token Indian looking people you'll ever <laughs> see in your life, bro. Bug with the curled mustache, bro. I'm telling yeah. you, ma'am. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. Yeah, but awesome, bro, though. that doesn't mean shit though, innit? Like, you. Yeah, but why look does like she that. look not Indian? Yeah, but you I can. Think. You can. I don't nothing. look. People call me fucking something else as well. People. Oh, what did they call like, you? Gone. <laughs> no, they call, they've called me Punjabi before. Yeah, no, but that you're still Indian. No, but she looks. Is, she looks. Bro, you can tell when someone is different. It looks different to what you would expect someone to look like. Bro, she looks. No, I know what you're saying. No, she's definitely not. She's brown. She's bro. Okay. She have you seen what she looks like? She does not look yes. Indian at all. Yeah, but bear in mind, she's been living in America her whole life. She's that obviously going to change look, how she. That's looks, not genetics, bro. though. Isn't it? That's not no, no, no. Face. But bear, no, I'm trying to say it in the sense that, like, <laughs> no, but she does. She does actually look brown. She does look brown. You she think that? Like, she's got. She's got makeup and stuff. She, she's got on, makeup right? on. That's what I'm trying to say to you. She's yeah. she acclimated to the environment. She's eating yeah. that American food that makes you look fucked anyway. I can't lie to you. It's, she probably got work done. I'm sorry. No, she probably has. My point is also like she's also self hating. That's kind of where this. That's what I'm saying. Because she can't say Vivek Ramaswamy, (laughs) which is crazy. And she says Indian, and she describes Gurdwaras as Indian (laughs) churches, bro. So, (laughs) so that's what I'm saying. So so she's obviously probably trying to do white face, bro. Honestly, so you can't take that whole because she's got makeup on. Yeah, she's trying. So what was her name originally? Her name was Nikinder. No, yeah, it wasn't Nikita. Nimrata. Nimrata. Her Nimrata. original Nimrata. name, Nimrata Randawa. Nimrata, yeah. bro. Nimrata. Nikki Haley, bro. Nikki Haley, yeah. <laughs> That's such a bad star name to choose, man. <laughs> 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 yeah. Not even like Nicola. She went straight Nikki. Yeah. She That's did. crazy. Nimrata Nikki Haley. I mean, it definitely, these less. pictures definitely look like she's wearing makeup that makes her face whiter. 
That's what I'm saying. It is. Fine, no, why? No, Would no, you no, want no. me to find no makeup pics or something? Look at, look at the one from no her in 1989. 1989? It's on the wiki. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, I got that. She looks a little, you know. Black yeah, she is. Is. Maybe, 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 <laughs> maybe she did do a like, reverse Michael Jackson or some shit. I don't she know, obviously man. did, bro. Obviously, I'm telling you, she can't save Vivek Ramaswamy. Bro, Dude, it's light work. Crazy. It's light work to look a different race, bro. Trust me. Jeez, <laughs> man's race bait now. <laughs> yeah, anyway, sorry, that just stumped me, bro. That, that caught me off guard. I didn't I didn't know yeah. all of that because I'd seen the roast, but I didn't, um, yep. well, yeah, I didn't yep. know that. That's crazy. Yeah, so <coughs> Do you think I don't actually remember. I don't actually remember now why I brought it up because you interrupted so many times. How is she Indian when she looks white? <laughs> but uh, that we'll was, move on. That was talking about Mongolian food singing. And then you went to Vivek, and then she can't say yeah, his name. I had a thing, right? If no one's got anything else to talk about, do you mind? Go for it. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? Democracy. <laughs> 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 For I once. Get, get yeah. in <laughs> uh, so, uh, all right. This is completely left field. It's a little game, innit? it? Let's get a little bit gamey this year. Mm. All right. Obviously, we've got World Wonders, in it? So, I was just yeah. thinking the other day. Actually, while we're here, yeah, you might need me some World Wonders, innit? it? Let's test your knowledge Pyramids. a little bit. Come on. Yeah. Pyramids. Oh. Wait, the, the, now, the World I'll, Wonders, I'll the real ones or the one? ancient? Yeah, give me some Hanging God into Babylon. Babylon. <laughs> Bobby. <One>. More. Lon. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, was the pyramids ancient as well? Yeah, yeah. Machu Picchu. Yeah. Is that the, that's a new one, isn't it? That's nah, a modern one. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. New one. Yeah, give me an ancient one, lads. Um, Come on, your knowledge is slacking, bro. You should be ashamed. Nah, of I actually know uh, this, bro. There's the tower, right? Isn't it the library or whatever? The uh, lighthouse it, of Alexandria. Yeah, yeah, Alexandria. Yeah. yeah. The ah, uh, no, I know these, bro. <laughs> <laughs> was the library? Was the library? Oh, oh, Jay, but you believe in dinosaurs? Yeah, we don't believe in a lighthouse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can pick up a dino fossil. Give me the lighthouse brick. <laughs> you know what? You got me there, innit? Oh, that's actually true. There's the other one, the flipping. There's the big man statue. You Colossus of Rhodes. Yeah, Colossus the big man Rhodes. statue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyways, the point is, yeah. I was just wondering, yeah. What were some? Oh, let me find the right word for this because I'm probably gonna fumble this really quickly. Hold on. Modern ancient wonders. Nah, nah. I was gonna say. Oh, I was gonna say. I was gonna say. <sighs> Oh man, I don't remember the word for it. That's great. It's great Crap. stuff. To stop. My topic though. Shit. Do that man. again next time. Oh yeah, yeah this is it. Sorry, I forgot, <laughs> the, I forgot the phrase. <laughs> Give me some wonders of the world. Wrong answers only. I'm going My chicken God. delight number one, bro. I'm going, uh, <laughs> I'm going Messi's left foot. I'm, I'm going Pepe's. Pepe's. <laughs> Messi's left foot. Um, Pepe's. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> 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 If you know, you know. You didn't want to talk about it. You referenced it twice, bro. Shut up. <laughs> the only um, person who does know. It's, it's a hidden secret, bro. It's Harry's wand. It's, um, it's all Harry's wand. It's never going to be said. Uh, yeah, well, some wonders of the world. Wrong answers only, lads. I say chicken delight, bro. I say Liverpool. Fucking sick. Fucking sick, bro. Um, what else have we got, lads? Big Ben. Um, you mean Big Ben? That's more like a right answer, Fucking clock. I thought I thought they have to be close to around. Nah, it's wrong we answers only, bro. Do you not understand stuff. the concept of wrong answers? <laughs> then <laughs> underground, then iconic, but, but dumb shit world, things. But wrong answers only. So yeah, London like, Underground. Yeah, London no, Underground. underground That's yeah. actually sick. That's yeah. actually sick, bro. That's actually sick. Doesn't answer. understand the concept of wrong answers. No, I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> this guy's giving one suggestion. In it exactly. That's valid, bro. No, London Underground is perfect because it's a fucking shithole. It's so <laughs> shit, but it's amazing. Hey, don't tell me to it's mind the gap. But not really, though, because it's actually elite. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, right? it's useful compared to other metros, yes. But in general, it's fucking shit. <laughs> they are lazy fucking, can't say London. <laughs> 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 if you know, you know. Oh, Go on. Yeah. Name a legitimate one other than Chicken Delight. This is your topic. You've got to give more yeah. examples. Well, I gave one like actual wrong answers only. You've given none. Give us what I you're actually thinking, though, isn't it? Slough no, that, I'm just, it was an open question. He doesn't but you have guys haven't given me this any typical, responses. This is a typical oh. Hamza topic. All oh, right, wait, I said headline. chicken delight. I said chicken delight. Only no, I gave one. I teed you up. You gave nothing because you don't understand I, I, wrong answers only. <laughs> okay. Okay, fine. Um, right, I'll bring a topic. You might just... You might just no, no, no. I, 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 as honorary members of Slough's organization and polit society, I have to say Slough. We'll have to say Slough. Because just anyone that is... 
Okay. Bismillah. And um, oh, I say Asian Star Radio. <laughs> what the headquarters? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still in Jalebi Junction, it. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gifto, yeah. Chaiwala. Gifto. Chaiwala. 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 Obviously, you still got Bro, some give us one more yeah, example. Yeah, yeah. Give us one more. <laughs> Jay, this what guy is so good. And if I gave you two, you'd be like, give me three. Shut up, man. You have not given two. You give a one. Dickhead. You introduced Absolute a topic. Dickhead. I said, guys, I give none. Those, you say man. give at least one. I give one. You say give at least two. One more. What do you want? Uh, I didn't what say you give want? at least one. You just didn't stop talking. I got another one. I got now I'm asking you to talk. I stopped talking for a long time and I'll show you back in the edit, dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking waffle. <laughs> the only thing you're going to show in the edit is you saying, Oh, what's the name of that again? <laughs> oh, yeah. And then I said it and you proceeded to not give a single response. Here's a rest, yeah? Give it one, bruv. All right. Wait, I'll sorry. give you another one. I'll yeah? give you another one. Okay. I'll give you another one. Uh, have a day off, bruv. So, Go I'll back give you another one. So, you're having a day off because not a single answer has come out of your mouth. You're having a day off. No one understands leave, your question. No one understands it. Nah, but Jay, you... Jay, nah, it's mad, bro. I, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't take that for you. I can't even like, you violate you, bro. Oh, Alright, Southall, Southall McDonald's, bro. Southall McDonald's. That used to do halal once like, upon yeah, a time. Yeah, that used to be halal, yeah, yeah. Oh, those are the days, bro. Nah, but Hamza, real talk, give us one more example. <laughs> just, no, just move on. Just move on. Just move on. Leave in the, leave in the comments down below, just yeah. Move on. Speaking yeah, of let, more let's world let's wonder stuff, yeah? Let's do. What's this most influential city of all time? This man, this man is topic lasted 30 for being second. Because you guys are actually useless. Your topic. Is that actually you guys yeah. are actually useless. No, that was a great topic. They it was a fun question and a fun was exactly. so fun. You guys are I gave some waste suggestions. Men. Also, we. You said I'm right answers only. <laughs> Okay, but can we try? Can we try again? We South try? or no, McDonald's? Move South on. or McDonald's? You <laughs> high guy, bro. It's so fun. It's so fun. Let's do it, man. This guy's actually finished. <laughs> Chose a fast food place as his answer, bro. <laughs> he stumped for more. <laughs> Finished on. <laughs> Jay, can, yeah, you, can you? Jay, can you? Uh, how much longer we got left? We got about 20, 10, 10, 50 that? minutes. Because oh, okay. uh, Jay, let's finish off with the topic that you saved for all four man. Do you remember last last time, last week? You were like, ah, oh, I've got more topic. I'll save for when we have everyone. Oh, that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that... <laughs> yeah. Which one? There were two. The one actually last week because we already been, been through that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we oh I thought the, I thought the three man policy was okay. Fine, never mind. It was it's the Zuck. It was the Zuck. I wanted to talk about Doomsday. Uh, okay, okay. Fair. Zucky, Zucky, Zucky. Well, well actually, since we're talking yeah, about places, t- since we're talking about places, yeah, thank you. We, we can talk about most influential city of all time because because uh, I wanted to bring this up. So before I even get into the topic, just. Throw me some cities that you think of all time have influenced. No, no, any, dickhead. You give two first, innit? You give two first, bruv. Huh? You give two no, first. When you give my two, whole give story is about a specific place, so I'll get to that after. No, no, I want you to give Your two specific places. Your whole story was about nothing. Oh my God. No, no, I want you to give two specific places. It's, it's and when you give right, two, London, I want you to double London. it. Give me four. All right, all right. London, Rome, Tokyo. Rome, London, New York, um, Atlantis. I'm going to go with the. I'm going to. No wait, hold hold on. I'm Tokyo. gonna go with the Le- I'm gonna go one out. Atlantis. Uh, yeah, Atlantis. Most influential <laughs> fake place. <man. laughs> I'm gonna go with the uh, a niche one. Boston. Mm. Say that again, sorry? Boston. I'm gonna go with Boston. Niche ones, Boston. God. Boston I'm Tea Party, in. you absolute finished guy, bro. They're independent American or the biggest country in the world. Cause of the independence we talking about. Alright, now go on, go on. What, finished what? guy. Bath. Karen. Bath. Yeah. Bath. Yeah. Um, boss, yeah. Slough. Yeah. No, shut up, bro. I'm actually trying to legit. I, I'm actually giving legit. Slough's actually given a lot to the world. There's wrong answers. What? Only <laughs> yeah. Do you want me to list all the things Slough's given to the world? Oh, yeah, he has done a compared lot. To, to be fair. Compared to the ones that we just said, London, Tokyo. It's part of the list. I didn't say it was top of the list. Uh, Edinburgh. Fair. Okay. What's Edinburgh, Edinburgh given to the world? I think uh, golf. St Andrews in Edinburgh, right? Is that the same as all oh, the other things you mentioned? No, it's the varying ah, levels no. of degree in it. Oh, right. Finished but when I guy. said that, you had a problem. Oh, my God. This guy's so <laughs> Did you just you know, see the hypocrisy within He's 20 seconds? everybody's time. Do you not see the hypocrisy I within 20 seconds? Bit, bro. Shut up. <laughs> this uh, guy's a lost Do you want to do your course. topic? Do you want to do your topic? St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg. <laughs> What's St. Nice. Petersburg done? Genuinely, I'm not even... St. Petersburg. Uh, it was Napoleon in it. It was the start of Napoleon's downfall. Sure, sure, sure. When they right. moved the capital to Moscow, it's Istanbul, right. um, Constantinople, yeah. Istanbul. That's a great one. Munich yeah. headquarters of World War II. London. <laughs> I mean, London. Munich. Munich's a pretty big one. <laughs> yeah, bro. Munich's a pretty big one. If that. anything, it's Berlin. <laughs> really? Full of Berlin was that. That. Was, that was the end, bro. Yeah, it's the Bavarian. He did all his shit from two places: Munich and his train. 
That was yeah. it. <laughs> hey, hey, and uh, freaking Beth Discarden. Yeah, that's right around the, yeah, around the corner, though, isn't it? London, obviously. Um, that hasn't already been said. New Delhi? Yeah. To be fair, What's, yeah. what's Delhi done? Uh, Capital City in nine. In- increased <laughs> okay. pollution. Now, there's definitely there's definitely other places in India that are oh, more Beijing. controversial. Oh, bro, fuck me. Influential for all the wrong reasons. Yeah. Oh, oh, Karachi. For Karachi, definitely Karachi. not, bro. In the Middle East, up <laughs> you could say um, Petra. Petra was very influential. That is the world's biggest trade going through it at one point. Mm. So yeah, oh. Med- Medina and Makkah. They, yeah, they yeah. were centers of the Islamic Golden Age. Baghdad yeah. was massive. Yeah, Baghdad, Baghdad yeah. was huge. If anything, that might be one of the most. Any South American? I'm trying to think. Machu, Machu Picchu. Is that influential though? To history and archaeology, yeah. Maybe, yeah. I don't know. I wouldn't really say anything in South America, to be fair. That's yeah. mad reductive. That's so reductive. <laughs> in all of South America, can't find Rio. <laughs> nah, but we're talking about most influential, influential that's changed Rio's the world. Not influential, isn't it? really. Yeah. It's football, uh, um, Olympics, what, uh, Cordoba. Everyone's done Cordoba at this point because well, uh, Cordoba brought a lot to to Spain from the Islamic Golden Age, which then influenced all, basically like, all of Europe. So okay, that was massive. That's a good one. That was actually massive. There's yeah. there's nothing in South America that is <laughs> that is the <laughs> maddest so. thing. Why, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, that is oh, mental. actually. I know, I know one. Um, Cairo, obviously Egypt. No, it's Panama. What's, it's Panama. What's, what's no, Colombia's capital, bro? Bog, uh, uh, Bolo? Medi- 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 no, Medellin. Medellin. Yeah, yeah. I'll go Medellin. I'll go Medellin, bro, because of the... Cocaina. Cocaine. Yeah, cocaine. <laughs> oh, It's Bogota. Bogota's yeah, capital, bro. Yeah. Right, right. But I think oh, Medellin is where it was... I think Medellin was the big cocaine, cocaine yeah. capital. It was, it was Cali Cartel and there was Medellin as well. Yeah. But China's yeah. got loads. But yeah, anyways, got loads. China's got all of them in the world at this point. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Now you're just saying everything. All right. Point is, <laughs> reason why I want to bring it up. Reason why I want to bring it up. Oh yeah, shit. He's got a topic. Shit. Carry on. <laughs> we just went on a fucking tangent. No, that was good. I wanted to hear what you lot thought. Um, Wish but I could see there's one place I wanted to particularly talk about, which doesn't <laughs> exist anymore. But I think it is one of the most influential places for sci-fi entertainment. Probably the most influential we've ever had, and. I don't know how much you don't know about this place, but Kowloon Walled City, right? Kowloon. So Kowloon yes. Walled City. Kowloon. Was that in COD? It was a map in Black Ops 2. Oh Black my Ops God, 1. I remember yeah, this. Yeah. Oh, shit, that was Rain Man shit from you, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. But I know the like city. That, sure. I know the city has high towers, you know, it's high, it's built, it's built it vertical, it's actually not wrong. horizontal. Ka- Kowloon's more like the prefecture, but yeah. Um, ah. Oh, Kowloon Walled nice. City. So... Let me give you a reason Bro, why. Bro, I read a manga on this. Manga. Wait, carry on. Yeah, I did. That's that bare rain manish, bro. What manga? <laughs> okay. Anyway, point is, this, this is, it doesn't exist anymore, but it started way back when in like the 1600s and it was an army base for the Chinese military at the time, right? They just had like a few barracks. And then further down the line, we, we, we skipped time a bit, British invaded China and overtook hong kong and they signed like a treaty which part Brit- which territories british british were going to own which territories china was going to own part of this treaty um they took a british took over hong kong and all that area but the chinese government still owned this barracks which at the time was called just called kowloon um within the kowloon sort of prefecture prefecture area then yeah. They owned it, but they didn't really govern it at all. So it turned into like a safe haven for anyone and everyone that wanted to go there. And that is how it then turned into what is known as Kowloon Walled City, because it ended up being this massive block, like a four by four block of Can towers. I say it looks like what Wally would shit out? Yeah, it's literally trash that's been crumpled into a <laughs> Yeah, it looks like yeah, compacted yeah. trash, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> it really is. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, standing uh, yeah. for that. Standing that is hilarious. Put up a picture of what it looks like. Yeah, I'll put it up. I'll put it up. So, so I'm, I'm not wrong though. It, they built upwards, right? It's they vertical, built, right? They built upwards because they only had, um, they only had space. I think it's like the size of like four football pitches. That was like the entire size of that city, right? So the only thing they could do was build upwards, and they also had a, a height limit. I think it was like 40 stories was the highest they could go, right? Obviously, this isn't like 
real architecture people yeah. just building out of wherever they can but it turned into a safe haven for like people who wanted to do illegal stuff anyone who was like homeless and just wanted a place to stay so what they had was they lined all the walls with these towers and those were the the the, the like most appreciative parts that you could go to you if you stayed in one of those outside buildings those were the only buildings that got sunlight everything inside oh, was just yeah. in shadows because it blocked all the sun so there were so people like living fort. in gunned right absolute Holy gun shit. and the, oh. the alleyways were like enough for one person barely to fit through and there were entire entire businesses and like everything was run from this one city so they had like dentists doctors that just set up there they had businesses running from there and supplying the rest of china right it was mad like this a whole society fuck. that was in this tiny bit and let, let me give you some math to like show just how nuts this place it's kind of like stray as well yeah like, so stray yeah. yeah so a bunch of sci-fi things that have been based off of this there was the cod map which was known as, as kowloon there was um night runner batman um arkham asylum the video game was basically although it is arkham which already exists but the way that they built that city in the mm. game was based off of walled city um if anyone's seen judge dread or has anyone played cyberpunk any of that stuff anything dystopian related has all been based stray as well has all been yeah, based true. on this city that used to exist and just to give some a sense of how dystopian this place actually was back in the day i was looking at population density of a bunch of different places that we have right now right and we've been talking about tokyo a little while as well as being one of the most like populated cities in the world that has a population density so person per square kilometer it's got a population density of 6300 so 6000 people per square kilometer if you look at the east village in new york which is known for basically just being high rise accommodation it's like a little small part of new york but it's only for <laughs> For people living as high-rise accommodation, they have a population density of forty-three thousand six hundred in that one oh, area, shit. right? So forty-three thousand. Can, can I guess what was Kowloon again? Oh, oh, we haven't. We haven't said yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Tokyo was six thousand. Yeah, you can go on. Oh, should we all go? In, we're going to we're going to circle. All right, so six thousand, and then a place that is only high-rise, which is super densely packed, forty-three thousand six hundred, which is very very on, high. <coughs> no, you go. You go first. Um, I can't because I'm pretty sure me and Jay have seen the same video. <laughs> it's a neo video. It is the neo video, yeah. yeah. I, and I'm literally on the screen when you're about to say the numbers. No, don't, 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 bait out. don't bait it. Out. That's what I said. Let That's what I said. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, you, so what was the highest one you said again? Forty thousand. Forty three thousand six hundred. And that was New York. That was the, the East Village in New York. Yeah. East Village in New York. Well, looking at this Wally trash compactor, I'll probably say. One foot by one foot. People per square kilometre, yeah? Mm. I'm going to say oh, 1.2. million? Yeah, something crazy like that. Yeah, fa- you know what fair is, isn't it, man? you got to put it out there, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. um, I'd say 87,635. Right. Jay, okay. Jay, um, well, one of you gave a s- silly answer, and one of you <laughs> yeah. tried to act on reason, and the silly answer won because it's one point two five million. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, hold you. this I wood. I know. I know. Oh, I know. <laughs> you got it. Like, I don't by know the way, the by the way, I wasn't I being completely that. silly. That wasn't being completely silly. That was me thinking. All right, cool. That is only up, and that quad map was thin, fam. It was thin, bro. <laughs> Oh shit, well done. That's you literally got it bang on. Yeah, that's bang on, bro. Yes. That's, <laughs> that's mental. Hey, you didn't cheat, did you? Brother, watch me. I was coughing. Watch me. Watch me Why for the last time. You have had it like on the inside of your hand or something. Like that. There's no way he knew that. A... That was just an elite. Was... Yeah, yeah. One nah, point two five. I'm rain, man. <laughs> I'm calculating it, bro. Yeah, he, is. He, he actually is. <laughs> Wow, this guy, million. this guy. What's up? You're right. <laughs> Shit, I didn't even know my own potential. Yeah, <laughs> you insulted me like you insulted derogatory, bro. <laughs> this guy's guessing the toothpicks to a T. I know, bro. <laughs> Fuck. Holy sake. crap, bro! You could have won the flipping raffle, bro. <laughs> <laughs> How many balls in this jar? Yeah, <laughs> you <laughs> wasted it on Calhoun. There's two more. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, Jay, Jay, I'm pretty sure it's the Neo video, right? The density on Earth. Mm. 
yeah yeah and you, yeah. yeah and if anybody ain't watched it 100 percent, you got to watch that video because it is what great is that? it's a very it's like cool a video. it's a very cool video um it's 15 like 15 17 minute video and like a full and breakdown like the whole history and like jay gave a really good summary for it anyway but it, it's definitely worth a check it's by the channel Neo. Neo, Neo. Neo, yeah. Oh, Neo. They do like, yeah. The, the guy basically, the, his whole channel is about like breakdowns of random things that you probably wouldn't think about that often. Um, really yeah. cool stuff. Yeah, and he, this, this is where I got it from. He was talking about Kowloon Wall City. And, and when I saw the thumbnail of that video a while ago, it was on my watch later for like months. And I thought, you know what? I got to watch this because it was a COD map, but I need to understand what it was about. And then it turns <coughs> out it, it's genuinely the beginning of all dystopian sci fi stuff. And people used to genuinely mm -hmm. live there. And the, there was an airport that was right next to it that was one of the main airports in Hong Kong doesn't exist anymore. And Wall City doesn't exist anymore because they, they took it all down. But the I flight thought path, this was it. Yeah, the, I, thought, the I thought I recognized it. For this airport flew maybe like 100 meters away from these story buildings. It's right? nuts. Like the entire Mad. city would start shaking nuts. when these planes would go by. It's crazy. That's yeah, yeah, I've seen this before. Right. Yeah, it's right. insane. And there have been people, there have been people who have told stories about being on those planes and it's been so close that they could see what people were watching on TV in their buildings when the plane Oh, was that's cool, What man. the fuck? That's cool. I think they, uh, did they scrap that airport? Yeah, yeah. They, they did. Yeah, they scrapped, they scrapped, they scrapped that airport. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nuts, so what's, though. What happened to Kowloon now? What what is the situation? It's a park there. now. They knocked park. it down, right? They knocked there's it down. There's a park, and they've got the they've got they've preserved some of the original barracks from like 1600s, so you can some go and look well. at what it used to look like. But they don't have any nice. of the the buildings that people build themselves. That's mental. It's, it's like favelas, but on steroids. Yeah, it's that's crazy. mental. It's nuts. Yeah, and the, the stuff that's... that happened there. The 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 thing that is really weird to me is how well everything actually worked because you'd expect okay this is like a safe haven for all illegal people all people that don't mm -hmm. give a shit but and it was all self-run right so people were cleaning their own houses they had to manage their own waste they had to manage their own water and there were like six water wells for the whole city right and you can imagine so we're talking about four football fields and there were like fifty thousand people that lived there right for f across these football 50, fields people fifty thousand people ghost town Right, you can think about one stadium <laughs> that has sixty k capacity, and that's people sitting next to each other. Let alone houses with like bedrooms and kitchens and yeah. stuff. Oh wow, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah, and everything used to run on its own. Like you could get, you could send a mail, send, send like a letter to someone in the city, and they would get it as if it was run by the Chinese government postal service. Right, so that's they had how everything you, run. How would you? As in, like they had postmen. As in, like yeah, there were people there that acted as as postmen. So someone would go and drop the post off to like. Kowloon doorstep and then someone else would pick oh, it up. I really want to talk to someone who lived it. in there, especially in those areas. How long how long was this city was around for ages, right? From what I saw, around. from what I was reading, it was around for like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. Obviously not in this format, but I'm sure at some point it got built yeah. there. Yeah. I'd be, it'd be really interesting to speak to someone who was in those parts that you mentioned that didn't have any sunlight for and real. they were there for like decades or whatever. I'm sure they left there to go work in the city or stuff as well, right? They just happened to live in that area. Maybe. I don't actually know what people did for a living there, I think apart from running their businesses there. Really yeah, yeah, poor. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, obviously. Really yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. There was not really... Uh, they were really poor. Yeah. You say, you say that, how... they're really poor, yeah, but just quickly, but if it was still around today, you're seeing some TikToks of, today, I'm going to show you what it's like to live a day in Kowloon Volsi. <laughs> <laughs> they're still poor, <laughs> the though. irony. No, that's what I'm saying, but yeah. it, the irony, isn't it? Yeah, the irony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's true. For sure. That's amazing, I just like man. how um, I like how we all knew this story in three different ways. Because <laughs> <Obviously, laughs> of flights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because of COD. Because <laughs> of the new channel. And cause me, because I read a manga on it. That's hilarious. Yeah, that's, that's pretty amazing. cool, actually. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's really cool. <laughs> it's because the nickname is known as the City of Darkness as well. Yeah. Um, wow. Yeah. That's With honestly kind of morbidly scary. There we go. <laughs> that was episode 42. Thank you all for tuning in to another amazing episode hopefully hopefully you enjoyed it at the typical podcast on all platforms um and hope you all having a great start to the year and we'll catch you on the next episode with hopefully something nice and special mate take care see you later